you did to help Melinda? Dakota, huh? I've been looking for her. I wanted to... To what? To what? To say how sorry you are that she's gone after you helped her put an end to it? What are you talking about? I read Melinda's journal. She had an awful lot to say about you. About how terrified she was. About how she had to deal with these treatments that she didn't believe in and she couldn't cope with. Dakota, that's not true. Everyone has moments of doubt. They pass. Yeah, they sure do with a little help from you, right? She also wrote in her journal that she wanted to die. Because of all that you two were doing to her. She also had a postscript, the very last thing that she wrote. She said, I know what I have to do now. Conchetta has made that possible. Just what was she talking about? I'm not sure. You gave her that digitalis. I did not. Then what was it that you made possible, huh? She was depressed. We talked. I made her realize that she had to try. That was it. Conchetta, you don't even deny it. You need to deny an accusation like that. It's totally ridiculous. I do deny it. It's a betting of suicide, and anyone, especially doctor, knows that that's far too serious an accusation to take lightly. I'm sorry. I, I came here to express my sympathy, not to cause more trouble. I think I'd better go. No, you don't have to go. Yes, I do. I'm sorry. I'll see you all later. I'll see you out. I could have told you to try and rein this thing in. Why? I thought the Ryans were so big on truth. Yeah, hey, and what hey, is hey. the truth here? That woman did as much, if not more, than you to help Melinda. And now you're accusing and insulting her. Oh, what are you doing? You're going to take her side now over your own wife? You must get close. 
to the edge ever since Melinda died. So it's losing it. And that's understandable. But there are limits and you're pushing them. Well, someone has to stand up for that girl because you know as well as I do she would not kill herself, not accidentally, not in a million years. Come on, guys, that's enough, all right? That's enough. Frankie, butt out of this. Listen, there's no sense in jumping down each other's throats. That's not going to help anybody. Hey, get out of here. This doesn't concern you. It concerns the family, so it concerns me. I know you're new to all this, but learn something. When there's a family crisis, we pull together. We do not pull apart. You understand that? Yeah, well, let me tell you something. I know a lot about family. Melinda was my family. And if you didn't give her that digitalis yourself, you certainly helped drive her to it. Yeah, I know a lot about family. I know plenty. Hey, you didn't mean it. Yeah, you he did. He didn't he mean it. He just, he's just talking crazy. He'll get over it. He will. That's it. Nobody's going to tell you. The lad's really hurting. Yes, well, he may well be. He doesn't have to add to Patrick's thing. Hey, I, I want to get out of here, okay? I think it's Alice Conchetta. Yeah. I'm sorry you didn't get to introduce me to her. I guess it was bad timing. Yeah, well, it was a bad day all, all together, so let's, let's just go. I mean it. Mob Secret is uncovered by Jackie on Jack and Mike, followed by 2020. Tonight, a mob secret is uncovered by Jackie on Jack and Mike. Then, a story of American drug agents tortured, kidnapped, and murdered. If you think we're winning the war on drugs, think again. Watch 2020 tonight. This is John London and Charles Gibson. Tomorrow, I'll show you my town. As Good Morning America wakes you up from Washington, D.C. We'll take you sightseeing and Charlie will show us his favorite spots. Tomorrow on Good Morning America. Coming up, Lottie discovers where Ethan and Ned spent their night on the town. Stay tuned for Loving, next on ABC.